Emmy winner and Grammy nominee Wayne Brady became an improv comedy legend whose line on whose line is it anyway? Uh, he helmed his own talk show, hosted Let's Make a Deal for 15 years and counting, and now this renaissance man is back on stage in the new revival of The Wiz on Broadway. Please welcome Wayne Brady. Good to see you too. Aww. It's been a minute. You're really letting yourself go. I huh? know. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, it's good to be here. Yeah, good to so see you're you. back on Broadway, Wayne. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The Wiz. Yeah. First time it's back. Uh, I've close to 50 years since mm -hmm. it's uh, since, since, since it was Reception. first on Broadway. Yeah. 50 years. It, mm -hmm. it, it's a moment. It's a yeah. real moment yeah. to, to be back and to be part of this amazing cast and the story and uh, yeah, so I'm happy. And you play the Wiz. I am the Wiz. You are the Wiz. Now, can we actually show my costume from the show? Yeah, <laughs> not what you wore yesterday. Right. Uh, you know, you well, have too much talent. That's your problem. I don't. Well, hey, he you know, um, I don't have a museum that I can hang my art in. So, <laughs> so I. Uh, which, by the way, you know what? I agree with your take on that. Yeah. I could make a dress and hang it in Bloomingdale. She can't sew. What part do you agree well, with? Well, whatever. See, no, but that's exactly it. Because, like, everybody goes, oh, you know what? He did that thing. He showed initiative. Yeah. It doesn't mean he's good. That's right. There are he people tried. that bust their hump at these, at these artistic endeavors. I've worked a long time to be able to do this. I can look. I can't change change your oil. I can't save your life. But I can damn sure sing a song and make you laugh. <laughs> so, so that's what I try to do, you know. So, yes. Wayne, <laughs> I just say you're even more handsome in person, so it's so lovely to have you Thank here. Thank you, uh, Now, The Wiz premiered on Broadway in 1975, the film yeah. adaptation wow. in 1978, starring God. Diana Ross, Richard yeah. Pryor, Lena wow. Horne, Michael Jackson. Wow. Yeah. And I understand yeah. watching that was when you knew you wanted to be on Broadway. Wow. So does this feel full cir circle to you? Absolutely. It's one of those moments, I think, especially for my generation, growing up, watching, watching The Wiz, it was, how do I put it? it was inspirational and aspirational. Mm -hmm. Because you see, watching the movie and then watching the live show, you see these depictions of a fantastical black life that, that you know, that to be honest, sometimes depending on where you are, we aren't allowed the, mm -hmm. the agency to dream and have fantasies. Mm -hmm. So to see these people dressed up as the, as the lion and the wizard and, and doing this thing, I knew that I wanted to be like them. I didn't know how I was going to get from Orlando and Tangelo Park all the way to Broadway, but I knew I was going to do it someday, and that was definitely part of my journey. So now, here I am on Broadway playing The Wiz. So, uh, wow. yeah. Shout out to Andre the Shields, the original Wiz. Awesome. Yeah. Well, in January, you know, we had on uh, the show the amazingly talented Michelle. Uh, Michelle, uh, she's Lewis. our Dorothy. Yeah. She's Dorothy. She's amazing. Oh, she just blew us away with her talent. Look at that. Look at that. She's 24 years old, everyone. She's 24 years old. Oh. It's amazing. Now, you talk a lot about um, inspiring the next generation of performers. Um, is that something in the back of your mind every time you hit the stage? Because you're, you're clearly an inspiration to so many performers. Absolutely. It, it, I, I completely know that when you reach a certain point, especially in this business, when you're lucky enough to... I've been on TV consecutively for close to, to 25 years. I haven't wow. missed a year. Thank, thank you, God. <laughs> and I know that with that visibility comes... There's someone else going... Like, I looked at yeah. The Wiz, the movie. There's somebody else going, hey... I'm wherever I'm from, I want to be, be able to do that. And yeah. I love being able to say, hey, this is how you do it. This is how you put your head down. This is the work that it takes. Because this is a generation about shortcuts. No, yes. no shortcuts. No. Yeah. Get it done. And be excellent. And be, 
Yes. Thank you. Be excellent. Yes. Instagram has yes. fooled people. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm on TV. No. No, no, no you're not. <laughs> It's no. <laughs> Wayne, you are also working on a, a, a new unscripted series, Wayne Brady, The Family Remix, with your supportive ex-wife, Mandy. And business partner. And business partner, uh, who you still remain best friends that's an, and that's business a feed partners with. So, yeah. wow. Your daughter, Mile, who turned 21 She's this year. 21? And your, I know. Your ex-wife's <laughs> life partner, Jason. Yes, <laughs> and who used to be my backup dancer in my Vegas show. Oh, boy. Oh. Talk about a family remix. Tune in for all the tea. <laughs> <laughs> This. <laughs> and at the same time you were filming this, you were also going through your own personal journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This show wow. that, that's going to be on uh, Hulu and, and Freeform, we, we, uh, we, to make a long story short, during the pandemic, we quarantined together. Now, I've known all Mandy, yes, mm -hmm. all of us. Now, I've known Mandy since she was 19 and I was 23 and we best friends and fell in love, blah, blah, blah. So, Folks miss the point where, yes, that's my ex-wife, but that is my best friend. Yes, yeah. And we divorced because we didn't need to be married. Right. Mm -hmm. But God brought, brought us together to bring that beautiful girl into the world yeah. and to be this team. Mm -hmm. So they're like, why would you quarantine together? Because that is my family. Yeah. Yeah. So we did these TikTok videos. The TikTok videos blew up. They wanted us to do sitcoms. They wanted us to do all this stuff. We said, hey, let's do this reality show because I'm notoriously tight-lipped about my life. Yeah. Folks don't know anything except when they see me on stage. Right. I said, I will share. Well, they in will the sharing, now. Well, well will yes. Now. Yeah. Because in the sharing of it, I said, OK, you know what? I'm 50. Time for a little honesty and transparency because I want to be happy. Mental health is something that I speak about all the yep. time. All you the can't time. be mentally yeah. happy and cognizant and conscious of the world if you're fighting yourself. So I said, this is what I'm going to do. So I shared my journey, and part of it was coming out as pansexual. And it's been freeing, not because now, now I'm, because folks are, oh, pansexual, what's changed? Are you running in West Ha Hollywood singing It's Raining Men? No, that is yeah. not what I'm doing. I'm still me doing my thing, except now I can do whatever I want and not have this thing on my back and love whoever I want to. And my family's along for the ride. Yeah. And if I can inspire even in that way, it's never too late to want to be happy and be you. That's yes. right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, so important, kind of just showing this modern version of a blended family because I don't think we realize how many around us have families yeah. that don't look like the cookie cutters. Why was exactly. it so important to you to show this? Exactly for that because yeah. especially with our family, we are a blended family, but we're a blended, blended family. And so when our show and our family, black issues, uh, issues of uh, race, mm -hmm. it, because my daughter, a biracial young girl, Wow. navigating her journey through life. It's not my journey as a black yeah. man, it's her journey as someone biracial. How does that look? It's, it's, it's... Generationally. It's, it's generational. Yeah. How does a family look today? Uh, being black or being, being ethnic is not a monolith. So right. we try to show all the different facets of that and with love. This is a family that loves each other and if you can't get on board with somebody loving each other, suck it. <laughs> oh, no. That's it. That's my T-shirt. <laughs> I believe well, I've worn that T-shirt <laughs> once or twice. Yes, ma'am. You know, thank you for reminding people that you are a huge advocate for mental health. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Huge advocate for mental health. Thank you, Ms. Wilson. So we want to thank Wayne Brady, because it's always good to see him. The Wiz is playing at the Marquee Theater right here in New York City. Go and see it. And this You're summer, be sure to check out... Hey, I got to finish doing the plug. Sorry. Check out Wayne Brady, the family remix on Freeform and Hulu. Hulu. Hulu.